Hey guys, how's it going? Now I get a lot of requests, people asking me that, hey, how do you make all of these awesome thumbnails? And the answer to that is obviously Adobe Photoshop. Unfortunately, that is a paid and premium software. And while my company pays for it, you might not have that luxury. Which is why this video exists. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at 10 of the coolest and free Photoshop alternatives that you can use. Now, these software come with all of the editing tools that you would ever need and then some. And the best part here is that they're all free. So we'll start with some of the basic ones first and then move on to the advanced ones. So without wasting any time, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and let's just jump right into it. Alright, so kicking things off, if you need Photoshop just for some basic editing, well, turns out that Adobe in itself offers a free version of it. It's called Adobe Photoshop Express and to be honest, for basic editing, it's pretty good. Simply head over to the Microsoft Store and download the Adobe Photoshop Express. You can now use it to fine tune your images and edit them easily. With support for raw images and much more, Photoshop Express brings the most used tools from both Photoshop and Lightroom for free. In fact, a lot of pro photographers also seriously recommend using just this instead of the paid Photoshop app for editing your images. So it's definitely worth a shot. Next up, if you want something that's Photoshop, but it's completely free, you have to check out Photopea. And I'm not kidding, it's literally Photoshop for free inside your web browser. So you open photopea.com and you get this interface that is, well, pretty much the same as Photoshop. You have all your tools on the left and the layers on the right side. You can even load PSD files into this and even raw images. Now, if you just want to edit some Photoshop files out on the go, this is super easy to use, especially for the fact that you don't have to download anything at all. Moving along, we have Color Kinch, which also offers a plethora of editing features and similar to Photopea, works inside the comfort of your web browser. Honestly, this app is just super easy to use. You can launch it inside your web browser and then use it to easily transform your photos into amazing designs. The service comes with over 50,000 vector designs along with the tools that you can use for simple as well as advanced edits. Okay, so there is a paid version available, but the free plan should definitely suffice for most users. Okay, so like I said, I do have access to Photoshop, but that is not where my journey with photo editing began. In fact, I started my journey in photo editing using this one software called Paint.net. Paint.net offers a tabbed interface, allowing you to work with multiple projects at once and offers all of the tools that are available in Photoshop. Now the interface here, while is slightly outdated, is quite easy to use and pretty easy to adapt to as well. What's more is that you can even install additional packs to it to enhance its feature set. In fact, Paint.net is one of the most widely supported photo editing software out there. Now the only downside here is that it does not support PSD files, but if you can let go of it, Paint.net is my go-to recommendation for a feature-packed free photo editor. Moving along, if you're looking for a free Photoshop alternative that just offers you plenty of effects and filters to play around with while also making annotations and stuff like that super easy, well, definitely, definitely just check out Photoscape X. Photoscape X comes with your basic editing features and then some. My favorite part about the software is how it makes batch editing super seamless. Just drag and drop all your files and you can just easily add frames or borders or annotations or just crop and re size them easily with a couple of clicks. You also get a huge library of over 1000 filters, effects, frames and handy editing tools. And basically I'll just say that Photoscape X has you fully checked off when it comes to beautifying images or transforming the entire look of photos in a flash. Moving on to some advanced Photoshop alternatives, the first one that we have is Photo Pose Pro. Photo Pose Pro is an advanced piece of editing equipment designed for people who, well, can't afford Photoshop. We get tons of features which are similar to Photoshop, such as layers and layer masks, as well as healing and clone brushes. There are even options for scripts as well as match editing to help you save time with your edits. Additionally, Photo Pose Pro also comes with plugins to enhance your editing experience. Alright, so moving along, if you're a digital content creator or more importantly, a digital art creator, whether it's Photoshop or CorelDRAW, this next app can easily replace it. It's called Krita 
and the interface here is pretty similar to Photoshop. You get support for PSDs along with a more advanced layer system too. There's a unique pop-up color palette and a massive collection of brushes. Also, you can even download and import brush and texture packs from other artists to expand your tool set. From an illustrator to a comic creator to, well, basically everyone who makes art digitally, Krita is an excellent tool that could, well, pretty much replace Photoshop for the better. Now, of course, this list would not be complete without mentioning GIMP, because as far as a complete photo editing software for free is concerned, GIMP is as good as it gets. GIMP offers tons of advanced editing options, along with custom brushes and patterns, all for free. In fact, it is open source and has a wide community behind it as well. So you also get access to a huge collection of plugins to extend. Now the interface is kinda outdated and GIMP has a steep learning curve to it, which is why it's not that welcoming to beginners. But I'll be very upfront with you guys. Once you give enough time to it, there's a big chance that you would never even need Photoshop just cause of how powerful GIMP by default is and how much you can expand its functionality. Now, a lot of you guys actually use Photoshop for well color grading your images. And to be honest, Adobe itself offers a better software for that in the form of Lightroom. But then again, that is again a paid software. A better alternative to all of that would be RAW Therapy. Think of it as a middle ground between Photoshop and Lightroom, but for free. RAW Therapy is an open source photo editing program that's great for beginners. With just a few clicks, you can instantly sort photographs, improve exposure, adjust the color and white balance, increase clarity, and much more. You can also download extensions based on your needs. Now, if raw therapy does not fit your bill and you still need a free alternative to Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, the next app that I can recommend is called Dark Tables. Now, Dark Table is an open source image editor that offers the ability to process raw images, do non-destructive editing, and comes with features such as tethered shooting and advanced color management. Now, the interface here is pretty similar to Lightroom, and the app is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Dark Table also allows for exporting in a wide variety of file formats from low resolution JPEGs and PNGs to even 16-bit TIFF and high dynamic range EXR images apart from having over 60 image operation modules for adjusting image color, tone, balance, sharpness, contrast and artistic effects. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down in the description box. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.